Hello comic book collectors, comic book lovers, or whatever you are. And here is Venom, and I want to talk to you. Well, I want to I want to show you the comic books. I well yesterday was my fifth wedding anniversary. My wife and I went to an Italian restaurant. It was very nice, very nice day. I I had a complete awesome day yesterday with my wife. Um, it was very cool. But she also gave me some presents. So um, well, she gave me. She knows that I love. Um, Archie Comics. Archie Comics are one of my favorites, but no, but Archie Comics are not so awesome for me now. But is there's interesting stories here? Let me show you here. And uh, first we have uh, Life with Archie. I gave for my wife. Life with Archie. The Mark Life. Very good. Very good readings. They are very good readings now. Magazine, I think this is number eight. Yeah, number eight. And this is a very cool. Another gift from my wife. Life with Archie, number 25. And um, good, very good. I love it. Really, I love this comics. Arch also, I, I had uh, Archie Comics 639. Another copy because it, I don't know if you remember, but in my video of international comics, and uh, I showed you this, and and I have two copies now. Okay, of this comic, very cool. Another comic I had, I had, were comic books, little comic books. You know, Archie, double diggers. Number two thirteen, two thirteen. Love the cover, really. I never saw a Archie comic with a horror comic book cover. I never. Okay. The next one is Archie's Double Diggest again. Number two, two one twelve. What? Well, it's the number. Oh yeah, two one two. Love it. There's Reggie and Archie fighting with a sword fish and like a um I well that's very funny. And also my wife gave me a world of Archie double digest number twenty-four. Very good. Also, the last thing she gave me was a uh, Batman: The Dark Knight Rises Blu-ray edition. Love it! I just love it. Really, it was very cool movie. Um. Oh yeah, here's my beer. Yep, my beer. Um. I think I. This is a Mexican beer. Because I recently arrived from my, um, let's say a travel around Mexico, and that's my suitcase over there, and it's very cool, you know. So, uh, very cool. I love it. Well, I'm thinking drunk. Damn it. Them you bear. Uh, it's a very cool gift from my wife. I love it. Happy anniversary, Jenny. Okay, let's put this in a safe place. I love it. Just love it. And I want to tell you about how how I control my comic book stores. Okay. Um. Well, we have. Well, we are three different comic book owners. 
first. Here's his sign, Carl Robinson. Here's me, Freddy, the great Freddy. Freddy. And here is Louis. Um, I don't know who his second name, but here is Louis. He's from. Um, I think he's from Argentina. Or Mexico, I don't, I don't rem remember very good. But um, here is how we control this in the comic book uh, comic book stores. Okay, every comic book owner of this company, well, the m the main um, comic book store of um, of us is Mile High Comics. In on Denver, but actually, I have three comic book stores: one in Chicago, one in Los Angeles, and one in New York. And every comic book store is named um, Jimmy's Books. And um, down in a corner, I think, uh, and is uh, written with little words by Mile High Comics, by us. Um, Louis, um, for other way, he have one story in, on Boston, one on, I think he, uh, Texas, on El Paso, Texas, El Paso, El Paso, Texas, and one in Mississippi. And Carl have three comic book stores, one on Denver, which is Mile High Comics, one on Seattle, and one on the great state of, um, how is his name? Oh, New Jersey. I love it. Um, yeah, well, all our work is to organize the comic books. For example, here's the comics we receive, the copies. How many copies we receive of comic books, of copies of the comic books? For example, we have many copies of Amazing Spider-Man 700 and Super Spider-Man uh, number one. And he was completely sold out, sold out. Amazing Spider-Man 700 because um. Uh, it was crazy. We had to to we well we need help with the with the with the sales because what the cows everyone went wanted a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 700, but the art. I'm going to be honestly with you guys. The art. I'm not trying to fend Mexicans, but really. Umberto Ramos is, I think, Umberto Ramos is uh, a little good. That's why uh, he's a comic book artist because he has his own style. But let's be honestly with uh, the art. First of all, the the eye the mask you know the cover of the eye of the mask of of Spider-Man was awful and even the art if you see the panels of Amazing Spider-Man 700 they are awful completely awful the art oh my god I love I love it I love Amazing Spider-Man but come on guys 700 honestly the worst art ever? I don't know. I don't know. I'm very mad. I'm going to do this. Oh, that's life. And... Well, let me tell you this. We... We... We put here the total sales. And if we want extra copies, if we... If we want the extra copies, yeah. And later we have to grade the comics near me and very fine near me and very fine some comics. 
and we have to read every comic book here and we have to the quality of the reading if they were good or excellent I put in a mission experiment excellent I don't know why but the reading is just the reading not the art so here it is very cool okay why the why these colors here on the page okay let me tell you here okay I'm going to do this okay here first of all with orange with orange um marker we highlight the comics we want the next if you want the next issue of this comic you know um with no oh, damn it let me show you this with oh yeah with blue marker we highlight the comics the comic if we want with blue marker we highlight the comics and um, if we want another issues of the comic books um, yeah if we want another issue the same copy of the comic okay and with yeah block marker we highlight the comics the the comics we want um the same comics if we want another copy in a better condition for example here's a very fine i think i want it i want i think number the last one is action comics number 16 yep i want it um the comic arrived as very fine I think I want it in near mint yeah and I think small bill arrived as very fine to near mint and I want it in near mint and JLA I want it um, in very fine uh, well no in near mint yep so that's all guys so I'm going oh look at this I'm, I'm tingling drunk yep I'm drunk officially I'm drunk yep that's the life of a man American man okay guys um I'm, well I'm going to be honestly with you guys I'm not I'm not going to upload some videos you know I'm, going, I'm not going to love videos for a time why because well I'm trying to save money to a comic book I want science <laughs> I don't know since they have um, nine years old I want them since I was a kid it's um, fantastic for number one I don't have it. I have a. Um, I want that copy of Fantastic Four number one, but I want it in a very hard grade, six point five. Uh, well, I found that comic in CGC six point five, but guess in which price? Nine thousand dollars crazy really crazy so I, I look for another copy and I saw a very interesting price and uh, fantastic four number one CGC 7.0 which price eight thousand dollars eight thousand dollars very good price for a high rated copy of fantastic four number one well, uh, why I'm not going to love upload videos because I'm not going to ha have comic books, and I think I'm going to come back to the comic book videos until late Fre February or early March. I don't know, but I, I'm going to yeah I'm going to be active with the comic book community. I'm going to. Do a couple of shoutouts 
Uh, first is for Ishida Killa one. Cool guy. I have cool, very cool issues. Ishida Killa number one. Um, next one is for Lucky Go Goblin number thirteen. Awesome guy. And the and the last shout out is for yeah. Hero Hunter 81. Oh no, there's mo one more shout out. Sleepy Reader, love you. Really love you. You do excellent reviews of comic books. You have. Uh, I love your, your comics. I love it. And that's all, guys. I'm going to see you until February or March, I think. And. Oh guys, um, oh, I'm getting so drunk. Damn it. Okay, let's finish this. He's empty. Oh my God, I'm drunk. Oh, I I, I drank three beers. This is a third beer. Oh my God. Okay, see you guys later.